Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. I am your host, Derek Fage. Another great show ahead for you. We're going to introduce you to a fantastic organization on today's show, tell you about the West End Studio Tour that is coming up. Also, a great charity event, raising funds for mental health programs at Chio. But first up, we are joined by Chef Phil Cameron, here to tell us about his fantastic business, where if you're looking for a fine dining experience and you don't want to leave your home, who do you call? You call Chef Phil. Phil, how, how are you today? Oh, I don't have your audio there. Phil, are you on mute there on your end? Yeah, here you go. Oh, there you go. I'm good. And Chef, you? Chef, how are you? Good, good. And you? I'm doing great, thanks. So, um, Chef, tell us a little bit about your culinary background. When, when did you start getting involved and, and fall in love with, with the culinary arts? Yeah, so in uh, 2012, I uh, took a, a class at the college where it's a, a program. It was a two-year uh, program uh, for culinary management, so it was at Leste Collegiale at the time. Okay. Um, and uh, I just absolutely loved it. And uh, next thing you know, I was in the industry um, where you actually do the real learning because, you know, school is the basics, but um, then you, you gain the, the momentum and the speed in the, the industry. Um, so that's kind of where I, I, I fell in love with it um originally right uh, i wanted to be a basketball player originally but um <laughs> i got injured and then i found uh, my second love which was uh cooking um and serving amazing food to uh to people chef phil what do you love about it what what is it that attracted you to it um that's a good question so food to me is uh is life uh, everyone has to eat uh, everyone in general loves to eat um, so it's kind of just finding uh, that passion um, and, and putting it on a plate. Uh, and it's, 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 it's such an amazing thing. It's, it's an old tradition of bringing people together, sitting at one table. Um, no matter where you're from, everyone eats. So there's just an infinite amount of stuff to learn. Um, so that's what I think I love the most about it is that no matter what I do the rest of my life, uh, there's always going to be something to learn. And I think that is the best way to live life. And of course, bringing smiles to people's faces um, when they eat your food is, is, uh, <laughs> is, is just an amazing feeling. Yeah, I mean, I can even say that as an amateur, you know, when you have family and friends over and you make something and everybody sort of oohs and ahs over it. It's such a, such a wonderful feeling. Well, let's talk about your business specifically. I mentioned off the top, Chef Phil, that you do bring that fine dining experience into people's home. Um, tell me about, you know, uh, that decision to, to go that route because, you know, a lot of chefs end up in the restaurant industry. You decided to take a different path. Well, yes. Uh, so, so I was in the restaurant industry originally. I did work um, at the parliamentary re parliamentary restaurant at the Chateau Laurier, and I was the chef at the Vanity Room. Um, I did other uh, ventures where I was on on Team Canada um, as an apprentice, uh, where we went to Germany for uh, the Culinary Olympics, and I recently came back uh, working at the World Expos in Dubai. Wow. Um, I was the sous chef there at the Canadian Pavilion. Um, but, uh, when I came back, I decided that, you know what, this is the time to, to go full time in, in a personal catering, uh, company. So, uh, essentially my business is a gourmet culinary experience, uh, in the comfort of your home. So I come, uh, myself with a server and we cook, we clean and we serve. Um, all you do is sit down and enjoy the meal. Um, we do three to six course, uh, meals. Um, they're all custom made, never the same meal. So uh, I send a list of different questions to the customer. They answer, and I make a custom meal, and uh, they tell me yes or no. And until I get it right, um, <laughs> I keep editing it. Nice. So it's, uh, it's a great experience. It's for about 4 to 20 people. Okay. Um, we also do small weddings and cocktail parties. Phil, you're going you're gonna to plate a little something for us today. Uh, let's start with that. What, have you, what are you creating for us today? Yeah, so this is a first for me. Um, I'm going to be holding it up like this, and working with one hand, which is, is not <laughs> usual for me. I'm going to be making, um, it's essentially, I have a tart shell here. Okay. And I have a nice maple custard. So I just filled the tart with the custard. And I'm going to put the tart down, bring my plate over here. And trust me, this is a bit more challenging than it looks. Um, I'm going to put a bit of dab, <laughs> uh, dab a bit of, uh, of that maple custard on the plate. And I'm going to go ahead and put that pie right on the plate. So now I have the pie on the plate. That's kind then of like your glue, right, come... to keep it in place. Exactly. Now it's not going to move. 
Um, so I'm going to put another little dollop of maple custard here on the plate. And I'm going to use a spoon. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm showing everyone. I'm just going to make it a nice little spread just nice. like that. And I have some Swiss meringue. This is where it gets challenging. <laughs> That's OK. We understand. So here we go. Yeah. <laughs> So we have the Swiss meringue that I'm going to come put a nice and generous amount right there. Oh, beautiful. I have a blueberry compote that I'm going to come and just make nice little dollops like that. And this is the fun part where I get to play with a bit of fire. So this is going to be uh, a I thought that might be coming when you mentioned meringue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when I go ahead and, and toast that meringue, give it a nice color, just like that, and without burning my office down, I'm going to turn the torch off. <laughs> That's important. We don't want a viral video of your <laughs> office burning down on this show. No, we, we uh, certainly Chef, just don't. while you're doing that, as you're finishing that off, um, just tell people at home how they can get in touch with you to have this great experience at home. Yeah, so you can reach me on uh, social media. Um, essentially, um, either on social media, message me, call me. Uh, all my information is on my website, uh, chefphilcameron.ca. Um, and it'd be my pleasure to talk to you. Um, a lot of my food is on my social media, so you can check it out, maybe get inspired, and maybe you'll get an idea of what you'd like me to serve you. Heck, you just inspired me right now, Chef Phil. Thanks so much for joining us. I uh, really do appreciate it. And from one artist to another, we'll be back with a, an artist right after this on Daytime.